Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cecilia. However, I go by the name C Chronicles on my social media platforms. So do feel free to call me C Chronicles. Uh, on this channel, I do fragrance reviews mostly and I do lifestyle and fashion videos. Uh, so if it sounds like something you're interested in, I, I hope you don't leave without subscribing. I'd appreciate that. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming along and always rooting for me. I appreciate that as well. Um, I was going through my miniature perfumes. Uh, if you watched my mini miniature perfume uh, video you'd have noticed that I have quite a lot of miniature perfumes so what I decided to do was instead of doing the miniature perfume reviews in ones you know like one video after the other I'm just going to group them into a series and then bring uh, the reviews to you and tell you what I feel or what I think of a certain series so today I'm going to be talking about the Lou Bitten, um the Christian Lou Bitten perfumes the ones I'm talking about are the 2016 compositions not the the other ones I know he's got a new range you know the the, the ones called the luby ones, the red ones and the beautiful bottles. I am talking about the 2016 ones and this is how they look like. Okay, this is how they look like. So I have the three that were released in 2016 uh, by uh, uh, Christian Louboutin. So obviously this is a fashion, a luxurious fashion house that's well known for shoes. And uh, you know, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on the fragrances. So I opted to buy the miniature ones uh, because obviously these fragrances are not cheap. Okay, and I was not expecting them to be cheap anyway. They range, um, I think it's between um, 170 to 200 and something pounds. Um, and you know, you can translate in US dollars. These are obvious 5 ml uh, miniature perfumes, but they, they were still not cheap, you know. Uh, so I just thought I'm going to buy the miniature perfumes and then. You know, if I am drawn to one or two of them, I'll then, uh, you know, make a decision whether I want to go for, you know, to, to just go the whole nine yards and buy uh, the, the whole fragrance. So this is a 5 ml and this is the presentation. Luxurious as expected from um, Christian Louboutin. So it comes in a booklet with a, like a magnetic thing. This is magnetic. Okay. And then you open, there is the page and then the little miniature perfume sits pretty in there. So I have three for you. I'm going to talk about Bikini Cera. And I'm going to talk about trouble in heaven, and then I'm going to talk about tornado blonde. Okay, so the first the first one is bikini Quista Sierra. I'm going to insert the actual big bottle on the side, either on the left or on the right. The actual bottle actually looks like this. Only difference being it's got like an opening in the middle so it's got like an opening in the middle where you can actually put something through you know there but it looks like this so bikini quista sera uh, for the sake of um this video i did put it on a piece of paper because these are dab on so they can be a bit tricky to open this has green notes in the uh, uh top and then in the mid it's got some jasmine and some tuberose and then in the base it has got uh some hyaton vertiva some ambergris some, and, and, and some um, Australian uh, sandalwood. Okay, so this is a fragrance that is big on tuberose. Um, the one thing that I realized when I, I, I used this, you know, the time I used it, obviously I don't use my miniatures a lot. I actually like to keep them for display purposes. So I did use this one a bit uh, for the sake of this video, obviously, and before when I bought it. This fragrance uh, did not strike me as anything new or anything I've never sn sniffed before. In fact, it took me straight to Guerlain's Terracotta. If, you, if you've used Guerlain's ter Terracotta, you know this is in the same fragrance family uh, to a point of, you know, they could be sisters. It actually smells the same. Now for the price point, I don't know whether it would make sense if you already uh, own Guerlain's uh, Terracotta, you know, and for that reason, that is why I didn't personally buy it. Uh, it is, it's got a decent uh, long longevity. The sillage is not bad as, as well. It, it turns a bit creamy. It's semi-sweet. It's a tad bit green with a bit of some fruitiness, you know, coming in. So, yeah, it does smell. It is ideal for summer and it smells like a holiday in a bottle, obviously. Uh, but it stays close to the skin. I'm going to tell you what I, how, you know, the one, the, my most favorite out of the three. So, obviously, this was Bikini uh, uh, Quistasaurus. Questa Sierra, sorry. Ah, these names. This was Bikini uh, Questa Sierra. So this is, this is the first one. Now I'm going to move on to the second one. The second one is called Trouble in Heaven. Okay. Uh, same packaging. You open it like that. The thing with Trouble in he Heaven is it's got like a purple like top. 
and then that uh, sort of bottom there okay again for the uh, purposes of this video I did put some on this piece of paper this to me is the one I said in the miniature perfume uh, collection smells like coca-cola when I sniff this I just it just takes me to coca-cola the beverage okay however coca-cola is not listed as a note so no don't expect that it's just how it comes across to me it's it smells like uh coca-cola in the top this has got some uh cascaline and some bergamot okay cascaline is a note of fresh water with a um a few a fruity hue to it so that's in the top and then in the mid it's got the iris uh flower and some rose and then in the base it's got some um some patchouli it's got some tonka bean and then some labdanum okay this is feminine it's ultra feminine to me but i think um a man can uh, uh uh pull this off if they wanted to wear it it's unique it's airy it smells like cinnamon something in it smells a lot like cinnamon and the rose in here is a bit dusty and then it turns a bit powdery you know um in the dry down if you you know after you wear it obviously it turns a bit dry uh, powdery um the way it, it smells on paper is almost the way uh, the same way it smells on the skin as well as on the clothes now if you can picture coca-cola uh, the, uh, the, the 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 beverage coca-cola you know uh, uh, with a patchouli kick to it okay and this i'm not saying is a um sweet fragrance no it's not sweet it's semi-sweet you know but it does have that coca-cola feel in it uh especially if you put that with a bit of some uh patchouli in the background and the patchouli giving that kick to make it obviously a fragrance it is it's quite plastic as well, uh, you know, reminding me of a uh, an expensive lipstick, you know, which is uh, typical of what I actually, um, you know, uh, I, I was hoping, um, you know, like I said, I was just hoping this fragrance would stay um, the way it is from the beginning to the end, which is what I get with it. It doesn't change much. However, it is a bit plasticky. It is a bit sweet and fruity. It's not gourmandish, but it is quite sweet and uh, beautiful. Very intoxicating. It draws you in. Okay. So the last one I'm going to talk about out of the three, like I said, I'm not talking about the new ones. The new ones, he's got new perfumes called Lubes. Okay. Um, um, Luby. They're actually called Luby. These ones are from the 2016 composition of Louboutin. So the last one I'm going to talk about is Tornade Blonde. Okay. Same uh, way. Right. And then it's got, there is a bit of a narration here. Okay. I forgot to read that to you. This one says a trail of golden light, uh, the secret of desire. Okay. So that is, uh, what Tornade, uh, blonde is all about. And there it sits beautifully in there. Okay. Now, um, Tornade blonde is a floral. This is a heavy floral fragrance. The top has rhubarb, it's got some violet, it's got some cassis, it's got some ambergris, uh, some emberate, sorry, um, which is musk um, mellow. And then it's got some Bulgarian rose, some jasmine sandbag, and then some gardenia, some orange blossom. And then in the base, it's got the ambergris, um, and then it's got uh, some cedar, and then some sandalwood, and some patchouli. Okay, this opens up with an obvious rhubarb note. That's the one that hits you in the face the first time you spray this, or at least you dab it on, because mine is a dab on. But um, it's quickly taken over by by the sandalwood and the rose. Okay, the rose in here is piercingly sharp. In fact, I don't like the way the rose is in here. It reminds me of Rose Prick uh, by Tom Ford. It's too rosy for me. You know, um, with rose fragrances, I know this is, like I said, a floral fragrance, so it is expected to be super floral. Uh, you know, but the way the, the, the rose in here, to me, is quite piercing. It's, it's uh, to a point, uh, to my nose, a bit annoying very grown-up kind of floral uh, you know this to me is a, a a mature fragrance it's definitely not a youthful fragrance so yeah those are the three this was tornado uh, uh, blonde so in terms of um 
in terms of how I would rate them or myself, okay, maybe let me talk about whether or not I am going to buy uh, any of these three, right? Um, obviously, uh, if I if I were to splurge one day, my most favorite perfume here would be the um, Trouble in Heaven. The one I said, um, you know, has got a Coca-Cola feel to it. You know, I'm just trying to make sure I don't, yeah. The Trouble in Heaven, which is the one in the middle here, would be my utmost uh, uh, favorite. You know, I, I definitely like this fra uh, fragrance. I think it's it's quite unique. It is uh, a fragrance that is um, not necessarily quite uh, crowd pleasing, but it's something that I would, um, you know, I, 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 I would say, uh, I, I think for the brand itself, Louboutin, I think this one, you know, is, is one fragrance that is quite unique uh, smelling and what I expected from the uh, brand. Uh, this other one, uh, the uh, Bikini Questacera, to me, it's quite uh, mainstream. Uh, okay, it's it's nothing special. It's it's like I said, it's, it's like uh, terracotta. If you are into those... Um, tuberous fragrances you'd have probably somehow come across this or sniffed it on somebody before kind of smells like michael kors by michael kors so this to me is mainstream you know so to blow over 200 pound on this definitely not me but you know if you like it go for it and then my least favorite uh, obviously is the tornade blonde this is one that's so complex for me um i don't like the way the florals are done here it's 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 quite irritating you know to the nose to me it can be too much in your face it can uh you know a bit be a bit you know um it, it's it's so piercing you know all i get is rose 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 i know there's a ton of more um notes in here but all i i'm just stuck on the rose because i guess the rose in here for me is you know it, it's not the sort of um you know it, it, was, it was not done in a way that i i quite enjoy so yeah that was it guys for today i i i, well, I brought you three of the 2016 composition of the uh christian louboutin perfumes um you can uh go you know you can make a decision if you want to buy these fragrances they are still available on the market um beautiful bottles for the dresser uh certainly uh whether or not you know i think this is what i expected uh from the brand mm, you know neither here nor no there uh, i guess i'll have to try my luck on the uh luby range you know uh, but as for this one definitely for me it will have to be um definitely for me it will have to be uh you know the 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 names are weird trouble in in heaven that's the one i would go for if money was permitting or, and i and i was in a splurging mood so yeah that's what i had for you guys let me know in the comment section if you've tried any of these fragrances uh, i'm going to try and put a link where you can um purchase these fragrances but obviously you can still purchase them on the uh, louis on the louboutin uh, site um uh, as for the minis i'm not sure if they they're still available but you can just try if you if you're looking for those i will go i'm gonna put the price for the minis i can't quite remember how much i bought these minis for um i can't quite remember i think they were in the 30 pound each or something range yeah something along those lines so thank you guys for joining me today it's been your girl c chronicles i hope to see you in my next video i hope you have subscribed i hope you like and comment and share this video turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime i upload your uh, yeah, new video uh, stay safe stay blessed and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers